Hello beautiful people. Thank you so much for tuning in, watching, and listening. This is going to be the April 2022 video for the zodiac sign of Scorpio. As always, my readings are very intuitive, so I'll provide you any intuitive messages that I receive as well as the meaning of the tarot cards. I do recommend you check out your sun, moon, and rising just to get a full picture of everything that's going on. And if you haven't done so already, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. That helps me greatly when you subscribe, and you'll be notified when I post videos in the future. With that being said, let's go and jump in and get started. In column number one, we're going to take a look at what's wrapping up and coming to a close for you. Column number two is just going to be general April. We're going to do a money column, a love column, and the fifth and final column, we're going to do a message from our future self or spirit guides. We're also going to do three yes or no questions, a healing no, and a healing crystal for you. But let's see what summary card you have. You have the card Surface. The Surface card is an interesting card. The surface is like about having a bubble around yourself and making sure that you are protecting yourself. Um, so kind of bad things bounce off of you, but it also protects your chakras, protects your energy, protects your aura. Um, so make sure you have that kind of bubble protecting you. Well, let's see what messages are here, Scorpio. The first card that we have is the Three of Cups. The Three of Cups is a card of friendship, celebration, or circle of support. You see them standing in a circle there. Um, but likely you were celebrating something the last few weeks, or maybe you were really feeling that circle of support or that good friendship. The next card that we have is the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands is a card of expansion or travel. So some of you could have been traveling the last few weeks. Um, or you could have had some sort of expansion, something growing in your life. And then at the very bottom here, we have the Emperor. Or excuse me, the Empress. The Empress is a card of creation, abundance. This can also be a card of pregnancy, fertility, or good parenting. Um, so some of you could have new babies coming in. Um, but very much so just a card of creation. So we have some creation, expansion, and definitely some celebration trickled in there as well. But let's see what clarifying messages I can give you. Look at all of those throne cards, Scorpio. So at the very top here, we have the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is a very healing card, but it's also a card of being really well supported. Um, again, that Three of Cups is a circle of support. So likely you've really felt your, your tribe lately, your circle of support has been really strong for you, Scorpio. The next card that we have is the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords <coughs> is very self-sufficient and very honest. Um, so I feel like this expansion has been because of you, Scorpio. So these are your direct action that's leading to this expansion. Some of you could have done some solo travel as well. The next card that we have is the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles is very, very practical, very solid, very leadership-like. It's also a card of like investments. So you do have two money cards essentially paired together here with the two abundance cards. Um, so some of you could have had like an abundance of money coming in as well. Or this could be an indicator of a really good investment that you made with these two paired together. Now let's take a look at our next column, which is anything that's coming for you in the month of April. So just kind of a general look at April. We have the card reaction. This is an interesting card because when I see it, it goes two different ways, Scorpio. Reaction could be like a warning to not overreact to something. Or the other side of this, it could be that there's like unprocessed feelings that you do need to react to. So it's saying either don't overreact or there's something that you need to react to. But let's read through and see what messages we've got here. At the top we have the Magician. The Magician is a really good card no matter where we get it in our reading. Um, the Magician is a card of focused creativity. <coughs> um, it's turning visions into reality. It's very inspired action. On this card he kind of has it all. There's the infinity symbol. We have a cup, a pentacle, a sword, a wand. It's really saying that you can have whatever you want. You can create whatever you want, Scorpio. So good month for creation for you. The next card that we have is the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is very self-sufficient and very honest. We have the Queen of Swords side by side here. 
So again, this is like you doing for you. The magician is saying you can have whatever you want. The queen of swords is saying you did this for yourself. Then at the bottom here, we have the five of swords. The five of swords is um, typically a not very good relationship. Um, this is like a bully, theft, violent, abusive, abusive, toxic relationship. For some of you, I feel like there could be some unprocessed feelings, hence the reaction card associated with the past relationship. It could have been a lover, but it could have been a family member or a friend as well. But let's see what messages we have here. The first clarifying card that we have is the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords does look a little gloomy, but it's actually a card I really like. So if you look at the card, everybody's facing away from us. Their heads are hanging low. And then there's a bunch of swords stuck into the boat. It's a very blue, very gray card. However, the Six of Swords means that you're going through a necessary transition. Um, so I would imagine that this is speaking to this kind of relationship or these feelings that you still need to process. It's definitely necessary for you. Again, it's necessary for you to have these reactions and process those feelings. Um, the nice thing about the Six of Swords though, again, it's necessary. It's taking you to a better place. Some of you could actually be moving too. Um, a message that I'm getting together with these two cards is that some of you are buying a house as well. Um, the Magician saying this is what you're wishing for and the Six of Swords saying that you'll be moving. The next card that we have is the Three of Swords. The Three of Swords is a card of low feelings. <laughs> it is a card of heartbreak, loss, depression, divorce. Um, it could sometimes mean ill health. Um, but when I see, see the Three of Swords, it's oftentimes like pulling the sword out of your own heart, um, which is like you doing your own healing. And again, with the Five of Swords, now the Three of Swords and that reaction card, I do think there's some healing that needs to happen for you. It's paired on the Queen of uh, the Queen of Swords, which is also that very self-sufficient card. So it's healing that you need to do for you. The next card that we have is the Page of Swords. The Page of Swords is an interesting card as well. It's a card of like gossip or people trying to find out your business or like trying to seek truth. Um, and what I'm getting is that like this not very good relationship re associated with the Five of Swords, you like might have found out about it through a friend or you may have had to go like digging for answers. It was kind of like a secretive thing. And then you realize that maybe this relationship wasn't what you thought it was or wasn't as good as you thought it was. Now, Scorpio, let's take a look at our next column, which is anything related to money. So think job, career, finances, businesses you run, investments you have, anything that touches money. And let's see what cards we get. The first card that we have is the Lover's card. The Lover's card is a card of partnership. It is very much so a deep love card. It could also be a decision. Um, the message that's coming through pretty strong though is like partnership. Um, so you could have a really good coworker relationship going on or relationship with your boss or business partner. Um, there seems, or it could be even like your financial advisor or somebody that's investing or advising you on investments. In general, there seems to be a really strong relationship as it associates to money or work or investments. The next one that we have is the Four of Swords. The Four of Swords is a card of needing to rest, retreat, renew. Um, I do feel like a lot of you have been working really hard lately. This is very much so a tired card. Um, so I would caution you or kind of advise you to make sure you're having that work-life balance, make sure you're taking time off, resting. Don't work multiple 60 or 50 hour weeks um, all the month of April. I do feel like some of you will be tired and busy though, so just keep that in mind and make sure you're taking care of yourself. Then at the bottom we have the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups has two main meetings that I see that come up a lot when it comes to money. One of them being this fourth cup that's kind of floating in here and it's like a surprise gift. So some of you could be getting like a spot bonus or a promotion that you weren't expecting or a raise that you weren't expecting or a bonus. Um, so there could be like a surprise amount of money coming into you. Maybe an investment is doing really, really well too and you weren't expecting that. The other meaning of this card is like lack of fulfillment. So for some of you, your work that you're doing right now might not be fulfilling you. 
Now let's take a look at Clarify here and see what messages we have. The first card we have is the Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles is a good card to have in the money column um, or the work column. The Eight of Pentacles is mastering your craft, enjoying your employment. It's that work smarter, not harder. Um, when I see this card, it's saying that you work very hard and typically you're appreciated like those around you know how hard you're working. Um, makes sense with this partnership. Again, it could be coworker, could be boss, could be some sort of business partner. Uh, but your work seems to be appreciated and valued in that lover's relationship. The next card that we have is the Hermit card. The Hermit card is a card of going within for clarity, uh, making sure you're on your personal quest or journey. If you see this light here, this is the light within you. Um, especially if you guys are feeling unfulfilled or that lack of fulfillment, uh, that kind of chronic burnout, Definitely make sure that you're doing the light, right line of work. Maybe you're focused too much on getting fulfillment from work and not other parts of your life. Um, but make sure you're checking in with yourself and that you're doing what you should be doing uh, when it comes to money and career. Then the next card that we have is the Devil card. The Devil card indicates change or endings. It's kind of a transformation. Um, this is a really good thing, especially for those of you that are feeling that lack of fulfillment. Um, this is indicating that it's going to end and there will be something better for you. Some of you could be leaving your job and moving to a different job, and that could be where that fourth cup money is coming from as well. Um, with new job, typically it's more pay, um, but some sort of transformation or ending. Again, it could be that lack of fulfillment feelings that are ending, or it could potentially be a new job on the front there for you too. Now, Scorpio, let's take a look at our next column, which is anything related to love. So think family, friends, relationships, single, married, children, anything that we associate with love. The first card that we have is the Hierophant. The Hierophant is a very traditional card, a very... Um, conventional card. I oftentimes associate this card with marriage, so some of you could be getting married or engaged. Um, I do think that a lot of you are having your expectations exceeded as well. Like if you're in a relationship, I think the relationship is going better than you anticipated. Or if you're single, you're enjoying being single more than you anticipated. Um, so that's wonderful. The next card that we have is the Six of Wands. The Six of Wands is a really good card. It's a card of victory, award, recognition, good news, success. Again, I do think some of you could be getting married or engaged, so that would be that celebratory success type energy. But again, whether you're in a relationship or single, it's feeling really good, it's feeling really positive, it's feeling successful. The next card I have is the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is very confident, very self-assured. We did, I believe, have this card earlier in the reading too. Um, but with the Queen of Wands, it's about being able to reassure, reassure yourself when you need to and be confident when you need to be. Um, so just keep that in mind that reassurance doesn't always come from your partner, it can come from yourself as well. But this is like a reminder to be confident, especially if you're in a relationship, to be confident in that relationship. Um, some of you could be questioning it maybe more than you need to be. Now let's clarify this column and see what messages I could get for you. At the top there we have the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles is a card of leaving a legacy, it's retirement, inheritance. Um, some of you could be retiring or you have a family member that's retiring. Um, this could also be an inheritance from a family member or again you could have a family member receiving an inheritance. Um, this is like a card of leaving legacy which makes sense when you think about getting married. This thing that's very long term and like kind of impacts your legacy. Again I was definitely seeing marriage for some of you with the Hierophant. Um, but we're also talking about how this was exceeding your expectations and in order to leave a legacy you have to be doing something really wonderful. Um, so great pairing there. The next card that we have is the Chariot. The Chariot, um, somebody once described it to me as the Room Room card. It really means things are moving, there's action, there's change. Things are going for you. Um, I'm not sure where things were going for you, Scorpio, but they were successful or they will be successful. Um, 
So whatever relationship or love movement that you're having, again, some of you are definitely in this movement stage and this journey. It's going to have a really successful outcome with that Six of Wands. Then at the bottom here, we have the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups is a card of moving on from something. So if you look at this card, all eight of the cups are stacked really nicely, but the person is still walking away. And the Queen of Wands is about being able to uh, assure yourself or be confident. So for some of you, you're abandoning those feelings of needing reassurance or having that lack of confidence and moving into this place where you're much more confident and have the ability to self-assure. Um, so that's really good as well. Now at this time, we're going to take a look at our fifth and final call, which is a message from our future self or spirit guides. We have the card Dependability. Um, that's definitely you, Scorpio, just so you know. Um, you're seen as dependable. And I don't know if I want to tie this to, like, job even specifically, but your circle of friends, your family, your relationships, it could be job as well. But you're really being seen in a dependable light this month, which is interesting. Not that you're not always dependable. Um, just an interesting summary card, not one that we see a lot of. But let's see here. We have the Hermit again. We did have the Hermit earlier in the reading. This is again going within for clarity, making sure you're living your personal truth, that you're on your quest. Again, that light is within you. Um, so the month of April, make sure that you're kind of checking in with yourself, Scorpio, and making sure that you're getting what you want. You're on the direction you want to be on. You're on that right path. Um, again, for those of you feeling that lack of fulfillment, that's especially as important as well. The next card that we have is the Wheel of Fortune. For those of you that have listened to my readings before, you know this is one of my favorite cards in the entire deck. Um, this is a card of good fortune, good luck. It's a very abundant card, and it's a turning point. You see the wheel on the card, the wheel indicating the turning point. Um, so I do think some of you will be kind of like checking and adjusting based on the Hermit. Um, again, it could be career-related or possibly not, but making sure that you are living your personal quest, that you're feeling good, that you're feeling fulfilled. Um, and if you're not, you're at that turning point, which is really a good spot to be in. And then at the bottom here, we have the Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups is having lots of choices, lots and lots of choices. So if you see this card here, there's something different in all Seven Cups. Maybe some of you like had blinders on and were like seeing your full potential or with the Hermit, like, again, you didn't know, like, maybe you felt kind of stuck and now you're realizing you're not aligned. And this is like seeing all the different paths you can be on. Um, and with the Wheel of Fortune, again, you're at the turning point. So now you're coming up on all these different paths that you could go down. Let's clarify, though, and see what messages we have. We have the Knight of Pentacles coming up at the top there. Um, this is a card that means reliable, um, and it's very hardworking, which is interesting. So definitely make sure that even as you go through this transition, we do again have that dependability card, so not super surprised to see it. But make sure you are staying dependable, reliable, and hardworking, um, even as you're figuring out what you want. The next card that we have is the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands is a card of stress, exhaustion, having too many burdens, um, if you look at this person, they're like hunched over into the bundles, crying. They're carrying all these things at once. Um, wonderful card to be paired with the Wheel of Fortune, though, because, again, we're at the turning point. So there will be less stress, less exhaustion, less burdens going into the month of April. You're at that turning point. You'll be moving away from that. Then at the bottom, we have the Justice card. The Justice card is a really favorable card for you, Scorpio. Um, it's like cause and effect, win-win solutions. Um, what I'm going to say, though, is like you're going to see lots of options in April and just know that whatever option you take is going to be beneficial for you. Of course, weigh your options, be thoughtful, um, but you can't do any wrong. Now let's take a look. I want to give you the opportunity to ask three yes or no questions if you have them. So we're going to use the Gypsy Witch fortune telling deck. If you don't have three questions in mind, you can pause the video and think of them really quick. But for question number one, we have the Seven of Clubs. This is the number 20 card. That's going to be a yes. Question number two is the Six of Spades. The number 29 card, that's going to be a no. And for question number three, we have the Ten of Clubs. This is the number 35 card. That's going to be a no. So we have yes, no, no, Scorpio. Now we're going to take a look at 
our healing stone stack and we're going to pull a crystal of the month with you. Um, this crystal will support you throughout the month so keep it with you. Your crystal of the month is rose quartz. It helps with softness, love. It's gentle but firm. It's really good for self-love as well. And last but not least we're going to pull a card from our healing notes deck. That message says, when you can't remember why you are hurt, that's when you are healed. Thank you so much, Scorpio, for tuning in, watching, and listening. Please do like, comment, subscribe. Let me know how this video resonates with you. Um, again, when you subscribe, that helps me very, very much, and you'll be notified when I post videos in the future. If you feel inclined, I did include my Venmo in the comments box if you'd like to make a donation. But thank you again, Scorpio, and have a wonderful April.